Hey, okay, this is not my style, but you know, when it comes to iPhones, people lose their mind even if they act like they hate iPhones, but then they run home to <laughs> film unbox. They film unboxing sitting on the sidewalks and stuff. So I wanted to do the same thing. I just want to film an unboxing before I finish my entire review because by the time I finish my entire review sometimes it's it's too late so what I want to do is I want to film this unboxing with the film on by the way and then I'm gonna release a camera comparison and then I'm gonna have an in-depth review after I perform all of my speed tests and everything on the on these devices so here we go. Let's start small. Let's start with iPhone 11 Pro. There's nothing different about this part. The, this iPhone print has a bump a little bit. And then once we open the box up, what you first realize that it has a little place for the camera. All right. And the next thing you realize that the phone is facing the other way so now you're greeted with the camera I like that a lot this is the uh, green and it looks fantastic now there's one more thing the film the sizzle test we do now it's half it's just on the front there's nothing on the back the first thing you realize when you unbox this is that the frosted glass at the back is actually very beautiful they, these look very different in real life and the uh, stainless steel is not aluminium <laughs> isn't that interesting it is really stainless steel the thing about the stainless steel is that it's not slippery it's kind of gr grippy in a really nice way so the phone stays in your hand it's not like those soap bar kind of new phones that just flies out of your hand if you don't hold on to them carefully and the camera bump I don't think I'll be able to peel an apple with this camera bump because it's not that bumpy compared to the previous one what else is in the box you may ask oh here we go some of course papers some stickers the lightning ear pods and then, for the first time, ladies and gentlemen, we, we waited so long for this. 18 watt fast charger and lightning to USB-C cable. iPhone 11 Pro Max is the same thing. It's only a little bigger. But now, let's take a look at iPhone 11, which I think is the secret weapon same thing the box is the same way a little bumpy on the box and once you open it up yes you're greeted with the camera and the centered apple logo which is fine i'm fine with that and once again film on the front side only okay the first thing i i have to look is that the lightning port is not aligned with the speaker speaker grills just like the previous one maybe they'll do it in the 2020 what else is in the box you may ask well of course the papers the sticker is for your museum yes <laughs> you put this in a 5 watt charger museum lightning airpods and then usb to lightning cable with iphone 11 you get the same processor same ram uh, only the camera is different and the screen is LCD instead of OLED and it has a little thicker bezels compared to the other iPhones by the way I'll be doing camera tests I'll be doing an in-depth review and I'm gonna be releasing them back to back so the reason I'm kind of releasing this video is to tell you hey they're coming hang in there it takes a little longer because going in depth is not easy so make sure to subscribe hit that bell write a comment tell your friends invite your neighbors bring your chips and salsa 
and, and soon, very soon, we're going to have a real discussion about this. A real discussion, I tell you. Until then, I guess this is it. The unboxing experience is sweet. I, I, I have no complaints. But what I want to know is what you think. Are you getting the iPhone 11? What did you think when some of them sold out in 20 minutes? I personally was very surprised that it sold out that fast. Are you, are you one of those who caused this <laughs> thing to be sold out? Or are you getting something else? What do you expect from an smartphone what do you do with your smartphone let me know in the comment section below let's talk real instead of just talking about specs instead of just measuring dicks let's talk about what we really do with this stuff and then i think we can get somewhere well thank you very much for watching this uh, episode is the can okay let's call this an episode okay okay and until i see you the next time take really good care of yourselves and host check color Oh, we also have the cases. Um, these are the clear cases because I think Apple wants you to show these beautiful colors. Let's take iPhone 11 Pro's case. I use this case with iPhone XR and it's one of the nicest clear cases I've ever used. It's been, it lasted for a really long time. There you go, nothing, nothing fancy. It's actually a lot better than the silicone case. So, okay, so also let me know what kind of case you use. Do you like cases or do you like to go commando and then wonder why your phone is broken? What? Yes. No.